reservation. Hidden away inside a computer exists another world. Its creator designed it for games. But it became so much more. He called it The Grid, a digital utopia filled with infinite possibilities. In 2010, Disney gave us Tron Legacy, a long convoluted sequel to a 30 year old movie. Tron Legacy focused more on the users trying to escape the grid and less on the actual programs who had to live inside the grid under Clue's occupation. We didn't really get to take it all in. I mean, yeah, we did see some parts of the grid. We saw like glimpses and flashbacks, but we didn't get to see the full thing. We didn't get to take it all in. This is where Tron Uprising comes into play. Tron Uprising is a prequel to Legacy, and it's supposed to fill in the gap between the 1982 Tron and the 2010 movie. After getting sick and tired of Clue's reign, a young program by the name of Beck decides to start a revolution. Wanting to give the people of Argon hope, he dresses up as the dead Tron and decapitates a statue. Now at first, this is a small act of vandalism, but things get pretty crazy pretty quick. One program. Tron saved the grid before. Maybe he could do it again. Fights back. Who did this? Name's Beck. He's good, but he's no Tron. This June. Do you really think if they believe Tron's alive, it will inspire a revolution? I know it will. On the grid. I want to do this. A new hero. I have to do this. We'll reprogram. I'm ready. The future. You're not afraid? No. You should be. Tron Uprising, a brand new animated series, premieres this June, only on Disney XD. As it ends with him being caught on the outlands of the grid by what seems to be one of Clue's soldiers. It's then revealed that this soldier was actually Tron all along and Tron was alive. You won't hurt me. What makes you so sure? Because you were right about one thing. I'm not dead. Tron, I was right. You're here to help. No, I'm here because I need help. What? From someone who's committed, and I think you may be just what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? The next Tron. He can't lead the revolution on his own, so he needs Beck. This creates a Batman Beyond sort of relationship, the same type of relationship that Terry McGinnis had with Bruce Wayne. I'm trying to make up for past sins. The state says my three months in juvie wiped me clean, but my soul tells me different. Every time I put on that suit, it's my chance to help people who are in trouble. I guess on a personal level, it's a chance to look like a worthwhile human being again. In my eyes, if no one else's, it's what I want, Bruce. Tron trains Beck to lead the revolution while also taking up his persona. To give people hope that Tron lives, and maybe 
just maybe they will rise up and start a revolution. It is kinda depressing watching this series, cause if you ever watched Legacy, you know that when the movie starts, everything is the same. Clue still has total control. And Tron gets turned into Rinsler, but in this series, he still hasn't turned into Rinsler yet. That's what kept me hooked. How are they gonna lose? How is Tron going to turn into Rinsler? When is he going to get turned into Rinsler? Why does the revolution fail? So many questions that go unanswered. But you will be. Come. We have a lot of work to do. Try. The show was also just nice to look at, with outstanding CGI animation and beautiful neon colors bursting out at you from every corner. It was so incredibly cinematic and far beyond what I would imagine ever seeing as an animated television show. To me, I'd never really seen animation quite like that before. It was beautiful. It looked like trained pieces of art. It feels like it's ahead of its time, as far as animation goes. The artists that worked on this have managed to put more creativity in every image in this thing than I thought was even possible. And that was just a very, very brief summary of Tron Uprising. Great characters, and a beautiful world, and some amazing animation, and a gripping story, and it got cancelled. The show only had one season and it ended on a cliffhanger and it got cancelled in 2013 before we could ever get a season 2. There's a lot of theories to why Tron Uprising got cancelled. Some say it was too expensive because of the animation and the all-star cast. Some people say it was the ratings. Some say it got cancelled because of other shows that were running at the time. Some say Tron Uprising got cancelled because it wasn't getting enough viewers because Disney barely advertised it. Some say Disney cancelled it because it was too edgy and dark for its desired demographic. And I can actually see that one because this show does get a little dark sometimes. Most of the time actually I forgot that I was watching a Disney cartoon. Tron lives, General. It's true. Impossible. And I saw it with my... Are you calling me a liar? You're not a liar, sir. Just... Come on, get someone in here to clean this mess up. Right away, your voraciousness. Of course. Now leave us. She and I have much to discuss. To serve Clue is a privilege. I won't let you down again, sir. I won't. I know you won't. Welcome home. Kit! Beck, we're running out of time. Um, sorry, Beck. Beck, we need to go now. No, I can save him. And that's what happened to Tron Uprising. It got screwed over by Disney. Heck, this video is probably gonna get screwed over by Disney. Don't you just love YouTube? I know I do. 
There is a petition to bring back Tron Uprising, but it's buried all the way beneath this garbage that people are sending to Disney on Chains.org. Like, look at this. Look at this. Make Harambe a force ghost in Return of the Jedi. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Harambe was obviously a Jedi master, strong in the force. So I am outraged that he is not a force ghost in Return of the Jedi. He was a peacekeeper and a furry friend. Without Harambe, Luke Skywalker would have never defeated the Empire. And the Star Wars would story would be completely different. He deserves to be... He deserves to be shown as a force ghost. It's an injustice for this, for this not to already be a thing. I strongly encourage that you make this change, Disney, as it will please many fans and bring justice to Harambe as a character. See, it's stupid jokes like this that are stopping actual legitimate change.org petitions from going through. Disney isn't going to take change.org petitions seriously when you're petitioning for dumb crap like bringing back Harambe as a force ghost in Star Wars. If you do want to check out the Tron Uprising petition, I put it down below in the description. I also put a bunch of my sources too, also in the description. I highly suggest you give this show a watch. It really is a masterpiece. Heck, if you want to, buy the DVD. Show Disney that there's a market for this kind of stuff. Till next time, I've been Ninjo, and I'll see you guys next time. I feel like that's the most generic outro ever. You know, outros are just so awkward. Like, what am I supposed to say? All right, see ya, and then, like, just leave. Or maybe, like, a fade to black. See ya, fade to black. No, that's dumb. Outros are dumb.